for me, I'm sorry, it's really emotional for me because I see European people with blue eyes and blonde hair being killed, children being killed every day with Putin's missiles and his helicopters and his rockets. And so, of course, I, I understand and respect the emotion. What you are outlining there is this tension between longer term efforts to apply pressure to Vladimir Putin, such as financial se sanctions and the very immediate military threat, which you're... Now with the Russians marching in, it's changed uh, the calculus entirely. Uh, tens of thousands of people have tried to uh, flee the city. There will be many more. People are hiding out in bomb shelters. But this isn't a place, with all due respect, um, you know, like Iraq or Afghanistan that has seen conflict raging for decades. You know, this is a relatively civilized uh, relatively European, I have to choose those words carefully too, uh, city where you wouldn't expect that or hope that it's going to happen. So it's partly human nature, but they are not in denial. The population, as you're talking to us, Matthew, we're playing in the latest pictures of some of the refugees trying to get on trains or trying to get out of Ukraine. And, and what's compelling is just looking at them, the way they're dressed. These are prosperous, I'm loath to use the expression, these are prosperous middle class people. These are not obviously refugees trying to get away from areas in the Middle East that are still in a big state of war. These are not people trying to get away from areas in North Africa. They look like any European family that you would live next door to. Fuck off. On est au 21e siècle, on est dans une ville européenne et on a des tirs de missiles de croisière comme si on était en Irak ou en Afghanistan, vous imaginez now the unthinkable has happened to them. And this is not a developing third world nation. This is Europe. It's Robert Moore here in, in the studio. Ils achètent des dés de la Pologne parce que ça va être une question importante. Et je, et je parle pas, on parle pas là de Syriens qui fuient, qui fuient les bombardements du régime syrien soutenu par Vladimir Poutine. On parle d'Européens qui partent leur voiture, qui ressemblent à nos voitures, qui prennent la route et qui essayent juste de sauver leur vie, quoi. Et ça, c'est une question qui va être importante pour l'Europe. Et c'est alors que face à ça. You know, was hesitant to take in refugees. Talk about what has changed and a different position now. Yeah, well, just to put it bluntly, these are not refugees from Syria. These are refugees from uh, neighboring Ukraine. I mean, that, quite frankly, is part of it. These are um, Christians, they're white, they're, um, they're very similar to people, many people who live in Poland. Thank you.